How long my sister is it time to jam out another wacky combo thanks to the recently nerfed Thaddeus and boy is it turning out not to be much of a nerf. For the basic version of the combo we are going to be using Thaddeus in even polarity using a cover artist to discount all of our cards to zero that are eight or lower thus allowing us to slam down Alkir and Colonel line up in the same turn but if you need even more damage you can slam down a jam session which is also an even cost card allowing you to do upwards to 56 points of damage in a single turn with all your Alk ears. For the mulling guide of the deck, you are going to be looking for draw power cards such as Ancestral Knowledge, early gamer removal tools such as Schooling, and if you do see this card, things like Convincing Disguise and Famish Fool are incredibly good to also keep. And finally, if you see any type of Evolve card in combination with Baron Vesh, keep her in the open hand too. Now with that all being said, let's look at some game. Okay, time for a game against Warrior. Let's see what they have in store for us today. Thing from below. Could be good. I kind of just want to get rid of everything here. Yeah, let's just be safe and get rid of everything. I'm assuming this is going to be Control Warrior since that is... Okay, maybe this opener is even worse than previous. We do have some draw power, which isn't, isn't the worst in the world. Hey, I guess we're just going to pass back the turn back and forth, back and forth. Combo wise, we have two out of the main four pieces and one of the additional pieces that we may or may not need, depending if this is control warrior or not. Them getting a bunch of armor could be really, really bad for the combo. But as long as they stay below, I think 56, we should be fine. OK, there's cover artist. So all we're missing is Alk here and maybe another jam session. And because this is a slower matchup, we should actually have a high chance of pulling it off. Come on, something cool. Muck pools is not something cool. Actually, I guess for next turn, it could be because we can use Baron S and then uh, go on from there. Okay, they're just going to keep armoring up. Let's put down Vash and then see what we can randomly get. Oh, you know, I don't think Shaman has any arcane spells, so I think that that's kind of pointless. All right, so put down Famished Fool, draw a few cards. We're, I think, burning something next turn, which is not what I want to do. But it, wait, are we burning cards? Oh, no. Good, good, good. We're not burning a card next turn. Trial by Fire. <laughs> Funny thing about Trial by Fire is Primordial Wave just makes it into a horde of 1-1s or 0-3s. I'm actually kind of curious of why I haven't decided to do a quote-unquote cute deck. I know that's something that's actually kind of popular. We don't really need the draw as the thing. See, this is what I meant, or huh, you'll see it in the final review of the deck. This deck has a little bit of a problem of having a little bit too much draw power. And I don't know exactly what... You, oh, <laughs> don't mind if I do. I think Ancestral Knowledge is probably what you'd end up cutting, or maybe just one Famine Fool. But that does hurt the consistency of persistence or whatever it's called the four cost spell and that's just such a good spell to draw most of your combo pieces that i just don't want to remove that i don't know i tried a few different versions out of this deck and oh, hey speaking of that all right come on minion there's three minions left in the deck and we get both thing from below and not alkir that was literally the only, that's the only combo piece we need. We, we just need to draw into it. Survive long enough and draw into it. That's all we need. Please don't burn. I know my luck. I don't want to burn a card. Please, please, please. M okay, Mug Pulse is fine. If I had to burn a card, that would be the card. Let's slam these down, I guess. Maybe force them into a brawl. Okay, so that's even cost. We still don't have a combo. Oh, I'll take a five cost minion or five attack minion, I should say. And then go face, still keeping them under the maximum output of the deck. We do have the two jam sessions, which is really, really strong here. Trial by fire once again. Uh, we don't have that many cards left in the deck. Come on, give us something cool. Something cool. That's all we need. Give us our last combo piece, maybe. Uh, oh, we probably shouldn't have done that. 
there is one problem with doing what we just did. So this is going to be even next turn. So if we draw into our last combo, we are two mana short now. Which means uh, we're not in that good of a position. Uh, Brawl. Brawl empties out our board, which is nice. Okay, first rift does summon the two adds again. Come on. Ooh, lightning storm. All right, let's use pack house because it doesn't matter. Come on, convincing. <laughs> hey, don't mind if I do. Actually, the disruptor bot or disrupt whatever it's called. Okay, maybe not. I was going to say if that was actually a useful card, then that would have been nice. I know we could have also like lightning storm there. Hey, okay, Ignis. We have 21 HP. We just need to make sure they can't kill us somehow through 21 HP, please. I mean, Odin is the main hurdle in theory. Horse Rift. I'm actually shocked that they haven't slammed down Odin. Okay, the majority of the board we can get rid of. I don't. Come on. Just give us the one card. <laughs> hey, let's go. Okay, so we attack into their minions. And then we evolve or devolve. Also probably shouldn't have hero powered there because we do want the minimal amount of minions. And I know my luck. I've screwed this up before by having a bunch of minions on board. So please, please remove my minions. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen. I promise you that. Yes, please get rid of them. Get rid of them all. Okay, they're up to... 50 HP, and uh, let's see if we can uh, charge straight through that maximum damage output with a good old jam session. Uh, face the might of the Wind Lord. <laughs> uh, I think this but or nerf is going to get reversed. Okay, time for a game against Druid. Oh, let's see what they have in store for us. This actually might not be a bad matchup depending on how we open. Um, Colonel lineup is definitely something that I don't really want to keep. Everything else is actually really nice. We really, really need a Primordial Wave, and that definitely isn't a Primordial Wave. The only real Druid deck that I've been running into is Treant Druid, which is actually kind of a deck that I want to cover in the nearby future, but I don't know if I'll actually get to it. There's just a few other aggro decks that I want to try out first. All right, so it probably is Treant Druid. Uh, I'm not shocked about that at any point. <laughs> I did run into this deck quite a bit. Um, we'll probably just hero power here, to be honest. Come on, Taunt Totem. Taunt, taunt, taunt. Nope, I, I guess we're not going to be lucky. Treants. Uh... We're going to have to cut down this forest, it looks like. I almost want to use Lightning Storm instantly here. Now, the problem... Oh, I, I guess we're going to do it anyways. I was going to say, the problem with doing it is just we won't be able to... Oh, no, we, we still have the coin for Baron next turn. Yeah, that that is not a card that I want to see right now. Not a card I want to see at all. But let's just go face, try to get something out here. Uh, we could coin out another totem just to protect our face. Taunt? Nope. Okay. Okay, they're going to forge something. Would, yeah, of course, it's Brace of Nature, which will probably draw them into either the discount. <laughs> hey, I'm right. Or the other option would have been, uh, what is it called? A drum Circle. Schooling could be useful. Maybe not yet, but in a little bit it should be useful. All right, let's try to evolve this. Come on, taunt. Hey, actually, that wasn't a bad hit at all. I'll take it. And then we'll just use schooling to get three minions in hand. Feed into the disguise next turn if we really, really need to. Ooh, I... They're probably going to attack into Baroness, right? Come on, something nice for the top deck. I don't care what, to be honest. Uh, I mean, we do need that combo for, or card for the combo later on in the game. But I think we're going to go face. Probably should have attacked into their minions first. And then we can slam down thing from below, I guess, to be safe too. Let's slam into that. Slam down another swarmer. That swarmer goes into that one. Then we get rid of that. And then we have the evolve for everything. Come on. Something cool. Oh, wait. 
Why did that trigger twice? We only had one, right? I didn't accidentally misclick? Or did I misclick? Oh, that would have been bad if I did. All right, so <laughs> I think I actually did misclick, which is my bad. I really, really need like a primordial wave, I think. Primordial wave actually saves us by quite a bit. Hey, 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 primordial wave. We're not going to waste it this turn. There's no point in wasting it this turn. Um, Let's get rid of as many of their minions as possible. Come on, give us something cool. Colonel lineup as a top deck is... <laughs> I mean, if we had another spell, that would be really, really nice. I think we'll probably evolve the... Yeah, the Murloc. And then just pass the turn back. We also probably should have just, you know, tacked for the one damage, but I don't think that's going to matter in the long run. At least I hope it doesn't matter in the long run. Okay, two treants there. Solar Eclipse. <laughs> and good old Drum Circle. <laughs> oh, at least we have the Primordial Wave. <laughs> Let's wave to them goodbye, I guess, next turn. <laughs> okay, the second one is funny, but I don't think it's necessary. We actually might want to get rid of one of their minions, too. To, like, minimize... Eh, nah, let's just do it, I guess. And hopefully that doesn't backfire on me. I know my luck when it comes to this. Come on, Tontotum. Ugh, never is. Oh, hey, we actually have an undead for her. Interesting. Can't remember what that undead is, to be honest, though. Plot of Sin. Come on, overextend again. Ooh. Um. <laughs> How do we do this? We're probably going to want to minimize the amount of damage we're taking, so we're probably going to want to get rid of as many minions as possible. I really, really don't like this, though. Okay, so we do have the jam session, which is interesting. Does that get rid of any minions, though, on their board? Let's get rid of two. We're going to transform this. Oh, uh, Golgorath. Uh -huh. I don't don't mind if I do. I'll steal that out of there. All right. Uh, we're not going to get full combo here. But. <laughs> oh, man, this is probably the funniest way we could win. Now, we just have to hope they don't have a way to do, you know, nine damage, but. Or, or kill or minions, I guess. Hopefully, neither are going to happen. Can we win this, please? Huh? I gotta hand it to them. We definitely stole this from under them. Okay, Solar Eclipse into Life Binders to gain four cards. They okay, turn the tides. Still not enough damage. I, I think we just win, right? Because they can't hit our face with that. Perfect. It's about to get a little bit windy in here, though, I think. Just so we can actually finish them off. You know, <laughs> would have been nice to get that as a full combo piece next, or the previous turn, but it is what it is. And then, oh, for perfect lethal, gotta unleash the fury of the Wind Lord. Okay, time for a game against Mage. <laughs> it's OTK deck versus OTK deck. Who is the better OTK? Um, one may argue that they are the better OTK, but this should catch them off guard. <laughs> Shuffle one combo piece in for the other combo piece. Well, at least we have a way to instantly draw into the combo piece that we got rid of. A car for a way to victory. Going to attack into the minion. Probably not for the best, but I do want to minimize the amount of damage that we're going to take in the long run. This is going to go face. I'm actually kind of shocked that they got rid of that minion. I would have just left it up, to be honest. Cosmic keyboard. Now, let's see if we can draw into the cards that we really need. Oh, uh, eh. So, Think for Below is actually pretty nice. So, we can evolve or devolve everything if they slam down, like, Deathborn or something. The Famished Fool is actually pretty good, too, because we can draw into a of cards. 
since we do have a lot of minions on board, we don't care if they wipe out our board. Thrown into our 2-3. Don't know why you're going there instead of the 3-3, three, three, but yeah, I ain't making the best decisions myself in some of these games. All right, let's get rid of that minion. Go face. Now, how do we want to do this? I think we're going to slam down thing from below. I, I kind of want to use a primordial wave. Probably was a waste because, oh, is this bad. I, I also forgot explosive sheep is a two cost card. So it's even worse than I originally thought. <laughs> None of our minions are going to live. You know, there's actually an infinite loop in a lot of different classes. Now that I'm thinking about it with the new Thaddeus combo. Because Sharp Eye is... Oh, I guess it isn't infinite because Fizzle is a three cost card. Ah, uh, maybe in Druid you could probably pull off the infinite loop. What you would, you would need would be... I actually don't know how you'd pull that off. Never mind. Let's get rid of all their minions. Minimize the amount of damage that we're going to take. Ah, Phantasm. Great. Just what we want to see. Uh, well, uh, okay, if this was Demon Hunter, it would be really, really annoying. But as long as they don't generate in the entire relic package, then we're fine. Oh, they actually had Primordial Wave. Okay. Uh, how are we doing this then? We do have two combo pieces in hand. I think we AOE the entire board. We don't really need to draw overload cards. Cover artist, good, good, good. All we need is our good old little chargey boy, and and we got it. Well, and survive until 10 mana, swapping back and forth between even and odd. Uh, that actually might be a big ask compared to what I really need to do. They're actually going after Golgoath. After the initial use of him, he's kind of useless. He's in here for the additional AoE or the ability to draw into current lineup pretty quickly. But for the most part, he isn't that strong in this deck in particular. Come on. Hey, <laughs> don't mind if I do. Let's see if we can evolve this into why. Just why. Out of all the cards that it could have evolved into, it had to be the 2-2. Two -two. That card's artwork is so wasted on it, too. It's such a cool-looking card, and something that I wanted to use in a thumbnail. It's just horrible. Like, you can't make it work, and they never try to buff it up to make it even better, so... I, I, I don't know. Cosmic Keyboard. Charge. I'm curious if they're curious of what we're trying to accomplish, and that's why they're being a little bit easier on us. Because I would assume they would run into... Sif by, well, I guess maybe they don't have enough. Of course, they get rid of the 2-2 out of all the cards that they could have. We have full combo in hand, but the problem with this combo is we're going to have to wait a few additional turns because we have to wait for even polarity on turn 10. And we also have to remember to not use any overload cards the next turn. I very much doubt we're going to remember that. But that, that definitely is going to be a flaw. There's the Arcane Artificer number two. Potion Belt doesn't really do much. I mean, it could, in theory, generate them six additional damage. That actually, actually, never mind. Potion Belt could do a lot because it can give six damage and each one is going to be only three damage, which means Sif in combination with it will actually scale twice and one instead of once because why not it's basically a burning rune but okay never mind <laughs> no worries here i guess all right primordial wave well you should hero power i don't know if i do nope i guess they don't i'll take a free taunt that actually isn't a bad second minion either just pass it back we we're not wanting to flood the board too much because we want them to get rid of our board and as long as we can survive this turn we should have combo next turn a second jam session would be really nice but i don't think we really need it as long as they don't get solid alibi solid alibi delays this combo by at least two turns 
really, uh, this combo catches a lot of people off guard due to the fact uh, that we're playing basically Evolve Shaman, and Evolve Shaman doesn't historically just burst you for a bajillion damage and call it GG. But this one does. This one definitely does. Heal of Blood. I would have literally hit any other minion. Yes, please. <laughs> Empty out or board. See how that betrays you in a second. We're about to pull off a monster of a combo. <laughs> Covering our behinds a little bit. And showing off <laughs> how this nerf it turns out to be a buff and it pro oh we did that in the opposite order my bad this probably should be unnerfed to be honest okay now that we're through the games let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck so this deck actually shocked me uh, compared to the previous thaddeus combo this one actually has a quite a competitive leg to actually stand on Maximum damage output for this one is way higher than the previous one, and it does have a lot of flexibility for the early game until you can pull off the combo. And because a lot of decks are relying on a bunch of AoE buffs, things like Primordial Wave are incredibly strong in this current metagame. Honestly speaking, the only thing that I might want to change out for the list is Ancestral Knowledge because the deck did feel like it had a little bit too much draw power towards the end of testing. Overall, it's an easy deck for me to recommend you all try out. Especially if you're looking for more of a wacky competitive combo for Thaddeus to make use of. Now, like always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.